guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Veronica here, and today we are doing another cash stuffing video. So let's just get right into it. So first, we're gonna go through my envelopes again that stay in my wallet. Emergency cash has $20 in it, so we're not putting anything else into there. Food, like always, is going to get $20. And this week I have a little bit more money because I door dashed a little more and didn't have any bills to pay on top of it. If I'm being really real with you guys, sometimes I do go over budget in my spending, but then instead of like taking stuff out of like this money, I will work extra door dash hours. So even though like it's consistently been 260, I have spent more money than that. I'm just being completely clear. Not a lot, but like I went to Marshalls and I bought a dress that was $16 over my budget. So I made sure that I door dashed right after that to make up for the $16. So I do do that, but I just paid off of my credit card so you guys don't see that. But I'm being completely clear on that because sometimes it's just rough. It really is just trying to stick with like a $20 spending budget. And I have been pretty good with it, but not always. But this week's spending is also going to get $20. that in there but so yeah I just want to let you know that so that you don't feel like you're not being perfect all the time because I'm definitely not perfect all the time I spend more than $20 sometimes so mostly it is spending but sometimes it can be food as well uh, gas I spend all of it because I've been door dashing more so I've been spending more money for gas but it's still only gonna get 20 this week and then next week I think I'm going to give it $40 just to bump it up okay so those are all of my envelopes next let's get into the binder we're gonna do the bills and all that stuff first because get them out of the way you know okay so first is car loan and like always it's going to get $55 every week okay there's the that and then let's count that all up I think I should be, I'm a little bit ahead on my car payment, which isn't a bad thing. I always like being a little bit ahead. But, because my car payment technically isn't due till the 21st of each month, and it's literally the 1st of May, and I'm already three-fourths of the way there. So, a little bit. It's always good. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100... 120, 130, 140, 150, 155, 160, 165. Yes, that is correct. Perfect. Got that in there. Next is car maintenance, which is going to get $30 for insurance and then $5 for just extra maintenance. So we're going to take a 10, a 20, and a 5. But let's get that all out. It's a really nice and sunny day here, and I'm just so excited for summer. I know I keep saying this, but, like, I just thrive in summer. I am a summer person to the max. I love it. So I'm so excited to, like, just go to the beach. Ugh. I love the beach. I love being near water, and it's just, it's the best. Okay, let's get back to counting. <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 290, 300, 310, 320, 330, 340, 45, 350, 355, 360, 365, 370, 375, 380, 385. That is amazing. I'm so excited. I'm finally at that point now where I'm kind of seeing the results from saving everything. Like, you know, when you first start off, it's like, oh, I'm only saving $35 a week. But now I'm like, wow, I've been saving $35 a week and I'm already at 385. Like, that's awesome. Okay, subscriptions is next and that's going to be getting 
quite a bit. So let's dive into that. So it's twenty five dollars for the group call. Put that there for right now. Ten dollars or no. Then it's nine dollars for the Adobe one. So I'm gonna take a five and four ones. Four. And then it's three dollars for Apple. And then fourteen for my Canva. Next week will be the last week that I will do fourteen dollars for the Canva. One, two, three, four. And then I'll allocate eleven dollars into my school section once that's over. Because it needs like three dollars a week for 52 weeks to reach 120. So let's add that there. And next week is like a really big bill week for me for some reason. It just like all decided to land next week. So this envelope is going to be very unstuffed in a week. So stay tuned to see that. It's gonna be weird not seeing it so stuffed, if I'm being honest. Let's put that there. At least I'm not stressed now. Like, I know I have the money to pay my bills. Because it's all right here. And I think that is the most important thing. I, it makes me so happy inside. But let's count it up now. It's a lot of ones, too, as you will see. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 155, 160, 165, 170, 175, 180, 185, 190, 95. So 195 for that. And then these are all ones. Isn't that so many? I feel like a waitress <laughs> with all these ones. I always loved when people came into like movie theaters and where I worked and they would hand me all these ones. They'd be like, don't worry, I'm, I'm a waitress. I'm a waitress. I'm like, you don't need to prove your life's decisions to me. Like, <laughs> I'm not judging here. They just always had to do that. So every time I think a stack of ones, I'm just always like, oh, I'm a waitress. I'm a waitress. I'm like, you're okay. I'm, I'm not judging you. You can do it. Okay. One, two. Did I say 195? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. Okay. So 195 plus 53. It's a lot more math than I thought I was going to have to do. And that is 148. That is so off. No. Yeah. 258. Right? Yeah, 258. So it's 258 for subscriptions, which is great. And again, this is going to go away by next week, so savor it as it is right now. I got bills to pay. That. Perfect. Okay, business is next, which is going to get $8 like always. So one, two, three, let's count that up. I did have to spend uh, $20 of my business stuff, but that's why we have sinking funds. Okay, let's count this up though. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 mulas. 24 mulas. 24. Perfect. Got that in there. Uh, Roth IRA, again, isn't going to be getting anything right now. School is only going to get $25. And I know I said I made extra money. And usually I would put all of my extra money straight into school. But 
I decided against that. I pivoted, and I will tell you why in a second, but you gotta stay tuned for that. And yeah, so right now it's only gonna be putting in $25 this week, which is my usual, like, amount that I put in before anything else I make extra on top of that. And yeah, I also had to put in $60 into my bank to hit a bank limit so that I wouldn't get the monthly fees. So there's 60 left. 60 less dollars in here, but I'm still gonna count it because it's just sitting in my bank. Okay, so we're gonna be 80, 100, 120, 140, 150, 155, 160, 165, 170, 175, 275. Which is great, but. Okay, emergency as well is not going to be get any, and I added some dollars into this, but I'm actually going to take one dollar out because I bought something when I was with my mom, and I was like, oh, I'll just use one of these dollars. It's what they're not meant for, but <laughs> it would just be easier for me that way. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17 dollars. My savings. I'm in a very song singing mood today. I've been watching a lot of the Tangled Adventure series. It's really good. It's on Disney Plus if you have it. My family has it, so I watch it. But it's actually a really good series, and it's all the original voices. And it's just, I'm on season three right now because they're only like 20 minute episodes because they're meant for like, it's a kid show, but it's better than like just a kid show. So I'm kind of like sing-songy because they sing a lot of songs in there, and I just like it. So yeah, that's all for bills. Now let's get on to the pink sparkly binder of my sinking funds. As you can see, we still have quite a bit of money left over. Normally we don't have this much, and that's because I think I made like an extra $150 last week door dashing. So uh, we're going to add that into a sinking fund, which I'll explain which one and why I chose to do that because... I think it's important so but let's do beauty first which as always is going to get ten dollars and I did also spend four dollars out of this one already last week because I needed more lotion but again that's what sinking funds are for so we have 10 20 30 40 50 55 56 and I just need to remind myself that's what sinking funds are for they're not multiple savings challenges they're just being there, so when you need it, you have it. And next is taxes, which is going to get $10 like always. I have not spent any of this, and I think we reach 100 this week. Let's count it. That's exciting. Because it just is. It's a little milestone. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90... 95, 100, 100 dollars in taxes. That is that. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to get to the reason I'm not paying extra for school. So I decided I need to fill up my sinking funds more before I start working on my school stuff because I was stressing myself out if anything like a gift came up like my brother's birthday is like in 10 days and I was like oh my gosh I need to make money to like get him a present or he likes money so I'll probably just give him money <laughs> but I was like Veronica you're stressing yourself out so much when you need this right now even though I'm only putting in $50 into gifts that's going to take away so much less stress than me trying to pile everything into school which is like three or four months away versus his birthday his 16th birthday is 10 days away so I'm going to fill up the gifts and going out so that if my friends ask me to go out, I don't have to stress about being like, oh, how am I going to get this money or whatever. I have a sinking fund for it for this moment so that I can enjoy this moment, have fun, and then keep working to fill up my school section. I think it's just healthier and better instead of just throwing all of my money at that school thing that's like three months away. And yeah, so we're going to fill these up. Which is very exciting. So gifts is going to get two twenties and a ten into there. Oops. 
so stuck because I've never had to open it before. And now I do. So that's going to get 50 plus eight. And there, so I'm less stressed. And then going out is going to get 100, which I know seems like a lot. But if you just go out to one restaurant, that can be like $20 right there. And I'm hoping this will last me quite a bit. So we're going to put four 20s into there, two fives, and then 10 ones. So like if I need to tip a waitress again. <laughs> That's so funny. I got one. See, you know, I'm, I'm looking out for you waitresses. I know that money tips are so much better than card tips because, and waiters, you're not just waitresses, but waiters too, that they take out percentages of taxes on the card tips, but they don't for cash. So, I got gotcha, you covered, don't you worry. So that's gonna be a hundred dollars. That's so funny that I brought it up earlier and it came back <laughs> around. Okay, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. I did have one more extra. Okay. <laughs> Let's try to put in an extra dollar there. That's okay. Oh, again, this envelope. I never had to open it. So it's sealed good. At least you know your money's going to be kept in there really nice and sealed. Okay. Here's that. And I'll probably actually make myself one of these. I'm working on ones that are marbled anyway, but I'll make one for going out so I can keep this money. I won't keep it all on me at all times, but if I know for sure like I'm going out later that evening, I can bring one of these with me. Okay, and then we have our last envelope of the day, which is Christmas, which is going to get $5 as always. And again, see, I'm not so stressed about, like, putting $300 in here right now, because Christmas is a long while away. I know it isn't that while, but compared to my school or going out, having fun during the summer, it's a little bit out of there. So yeah, let's put that in there. We got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 dollars for Christmas. Yeah, so that is the end of the cash stuffing for today. I hope you guys have had a wonderful day or will have a wonderful day. And remember that you are always enough no matter what you are doing or not doing. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!